Today we're going to do a 45 minute full body barbell and dumbbell workout with an EMOM finisher. For this workout I'll use a 40 kilogram barbell that's about 88 pounds and some 15 kilo dumbbells that's about 33 pounds each but make do with what's right for you. First up though let's kick things off with a brief body weight warm. This warm up consists of four 30 second intervals for two rounds starting really simply just with some body weight squats to get the legs warmed up so if you start with your feet just wider than shoulder width apart, slight turn out to the toes, and we're gonna get ready to go. So squatting down, full depth, make sure your tailbone isn't collapsing under at the bottom. You wanna keep your heels on the floor, nice even pressure between the inside out of your foot, front and back. And you want your knees to be pushed out to match your toe angle. I'm gonna link this straight into some inchworms. So one edge of your mat, hinge, walk it out, walk it back, standing up and repeat. On this next one, I want you to stay in the press-up position. I'm gonna do some groiner stretches. So one foot up and then switch legs. So you're gonna alternate feet to the outside of the hand. Straighten up through the back leg, getting some length to the hip flexors. From here, I'm gonna drop onto the knees, cat, cow. So you're gonna hunch your back, spread your shoulder blades, and then arch your back and lift your head. Just getting the spine warmed up. From here, we'll go straight back into the second round doing those body weight squats. Onto the inchworms. If you could start the hinge off with a flat back, that'd be great. And if you can't reach the mat, that's where you can flex. It's good to hammer home that hinge action before we allow any flexion of the spine. Getting that movement pattern learned early. Let's stay in the press-up position for those groiner stretches. I'm doing this on my knuckles, but you can do this on the flats of your palms. I just like to keep a slightly straighter wrist. Straighten up through the back leg. You can sink into it a little with the front leg. all fours. So we're letting the belly button sink down and then drawing it up as you squeeze the glutes under. All right, onto the first section. So grab your barbell and grab your dumbbells. We're gonna start with a barbell exercise. We're gonna do some snatch grip deadlifts. So snatch grip just means a wide grip on the bar. We're gonna do 40, 20 intervals, four exercises for three rounds in this first section. 
we'll have another section like that. And then the third section is gonna be an EMOM. So for this snatch grip deadlift, start with your shoelaces under the bar, relatively narrow stance. And then we're gonna have the hands out wide. That's gonna create a slightly lower, more challenging bar position. I want you to sink the hips, tighten the upper back, and deadlift with the bar staying nice and close to your body the whole time. I like to do a little upper back reset every rep. Breathing wise, you should breathe in at the bottom, brace for the rep. You can release at the top and then maybe a little mini rebrace on the way down. Job. Okay, you're going to take one dumbbell, you're going to lie on your back on the mat. We're going to do a reaching crunch. We're going to have our legs hovering up at a 90 degree angle the whole time. Don't try and sit up onto the tailbone. The base of your lower back is going to stay on the mat. This is a crunch, not a sit-up. barbell this is a nice hip extension hip flexion back to extension superset we're gonna have narrow stance conventional grip deadlift but we're gonna put a pause for two seconds just below the knee so pause on the way up only one two to the top and then smooth down pause just below the knee for two to the top and then smooth down. Whatever angle your back is at when the bar lifts off the floor, should be that same angle that your paws at. Finish your rep, don't worry too much about the timer. Okay, you're gonna need one dumbbell now. We're gonna do an alternating arm clean and press. So clean the dumbbell and then push press and then switch on the way down. Clean the dumbbell, push press. job so there's the end of round one we've got three rounds of these four exercises so have a brief break if you found that too easy just bump the weight up if you found it too hard just drop the weight down a bit Let's try and keep this barbell really close to your shins when you lift off the floor. Just clearing the knees and then coming back towards your center line at the top. Snatch grip deadlift. No pause on the snatch grip, just a smooth rep on the way up, smooth rep on the way down.
Okay, you're lying on your back on the mat. So there's a hip extension exercise for the lower back and hamstrings. Now we're doing the other side of the hip joint, doing the abs and hip flexors with this one. onto the conventional grip, pause deadlifts. So you're gonna pause just below the kneecap on the way up, feet parallel. Grabbing one dumbbell for that alternating clean and press. Great job. There's two down, one to go. Grab yourself some water. We'll get this third and final round of these exercises finished. Snatch grip width. From a bird's eye view down, the bar should be over the knots in your shoelaces. Should definitely not be over your toes to start. That's too far away from the body. on your back, grabbing one dumbbell for those reaching crunches.
to the barbell. Conventional grip. So hands should just be just outside of the shins with your knees just about fitting through the center of your arms. Pausing below the knee, two counts. Up to the top, nice smooth lowering face. To flatten your back, I like to imagine I'm putting my shoulder blades in my back pockets. And bend the bar in half. If you do those two things, it should sort the upper back out. Single dumbbell, alternating clean and press next. And then we'll move on to four new exercises. Great job, got a whole minute off, but that gives us a chance to change the barbell weight. Do recommend going slightly lighter for this next round. I'm gonna go down to 30 kilos, that's about 66 pounds, but just do whatever's right for you. I'm gonna use the same weight dumbbells But same format, 40, 20 intervals for three rounds. I'm gonna start this round with a goblet squat using one single dumbbell. So you're squatting down, nice smooth tempo, knees out, pressing back to the top. We want a very upright squat position. So chest up high, hips sitting low as if you're trying to sit down between the heels. Knees push down. Okay, lie on the mat with both dumbbells. We're gonna do a close grip, neutral grip also, floor press. So elbows gently touch the mat, press to the top. Don't rest too long in the lockout at the top or with the elbows on the mat. This is a great one for hitting the triceps. You get a little bit of chest and front shoulder in there as well. Let's get onto the barbell. We're gonna do a pendley row. And if you don't have Olympic diameter plates, these nice big plates, you'll have to do a bent over row instead. But a pendley row is gonna return the bar back to the floor in between each rep. So you 
trying to keep your body nice and still. Rebracing in between reps. And this next one, I'm going to do a little bit of a core and shoulder stability exercise. I'm going to hold the bar overhead and do an alternating march. So you're going to need to clean and press the bar above your head. And then we're going to alternate this march. Try to keep your balance. Try and get your knee to come above horizontal. job there's one round done two to go with those exercises So back to that goblet squat. A nice upright position. Okay, both dumbbells on the mat, lying on your back for that close elbow neutral floor press. Back to the barbell, to the pendley row or bent over row if you don't have the right barbell height to pull off the floor.
into this overhead march. This is a tough one. It's a bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Try fixing your gaze at one point in the room. Help with your balance. Keep those elbows locked nice and tall. And I don't recommend trying to talk whilst you're doing it. Great job. If you're enjoying this workout with me, I've actually got a 16 workout series called the Combo Series, which is all 45 minute workouts using a barbell and dumbbells. And you can do the first day completely free. I'll link it at the end of this video. So obviously you have to finish this workout, but if you're not sure what to do next, then I'll link that at the end called the combo series because it combines the barbell and the dumbbell. Four weeks, 16 workouts. Every workout is 45 minutes, just like this. Okay, grab that dumbbell. Let's go for that third and final round. So after this, we're gonna do an EMOM as our final section. EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. It's a nice functional fitness style format that I'll take you through. Lying on your back. Grab your dumbbells, flat floor press. to the barbell for those pendly or bent over rows. Overhead march next. Really try and get that knee above your hip height if you can. Pause in for a brief moment 
on each side. This is good for your shoulder mobility as well as core strength. Great job, okay, we've got a whole minute off. We're actually done with the dumbbells for the workout, so you can move those out of your way. I'm gonna use the same barbell that I just used for that section, for this EMOM. So we've got a 12 minute EMOM, four exercises. We do a power clean on minute one for 10 reps. Then on minute two, we're gonna do 16 leg raises. On minute three, we're gonna do 10 thrusters. That's a full squat, not a push press before you drive up. And then on minute four, we're gonna do 16 per side controlled bicycle crunches. And then we'll do three rounds of that to make your 12 minute EMOM. So once you've done your 10 power cleans from the floor, you can rest the remainder of the minute before starting your leg raises on minute two. Cleaning up, back down, get the bar to travel nice and close to your body. Let's do 10 reps. That took me about 40 seconds, giving me 20 seconds off. We're gonna lie on the mat. We're gonna do 16 leg raises. This is plenty of time to do 16, so don't rush your reps. I like to have my head and shoulders off like this. Let's go. The straighter your legs are, the harder it's gonna be. But whatever angle you choose, make sure it stays consistent throughout the rep. So you shouldn't be changing the angle at your knee. I want you to leg raise up into your tailbone, just rocks off the floor. And then on the way down, this is really important. Don't arch your lower back off the mat. Even if it means stopping a little bit earlier like this, just make sure you don't arch off. So that's 16 done for me. I really want you to check that when your legs are coming down, you're not popping back off the floor. Okay, this next one, gonna be the hardest one for me. I'm gonna do some squat thrusters, 10 reps. all the way down. Oh, it's definitely hard. Okay, we're gonna do a controlled bicycle crunch. So I want your legs almost straight, a slight bend in the knee. We're gonna have the hands on the temples you're gonna go opposite elbow to opposite knee for 16 per side, leaving one heel on the floor. And then you're gonna switch. Keep going until you've done 16 per side.
here, there's the first round done. So we're going back to the start with 10 power cleans on the floor. Chose to go a little faster to give me a longer break that time. So you can pace, you could do five, rest and five, as long as you total 10 within the minute, it's up to you. <laughs> 16 leg raises next. I like to have my head and upper back slightly off the floor. It helps me to keep my abs engaged. But I know a lot of people struggle to hold their head up with their neck muscles. So you can just put it on the floor as well. But let's watch out for not arching your lower back off the mats. I'm going to stop talking because it's difficult to do this and talk. Okay, thrusters, 10 reps. So I'm gonna break this up into five and five. Like I said, as soon as you total the reps within the minute, it's up to you how you pace it. Got 16 per side of these controlled bicycle crunches, leaving one heel on the floor, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Okay, final round, 10 power cleans.
16 leg raises. Ten thrusters. Finishing up the workout with those controlled bicycle crunches for 16 per side. A nice big oblique twist on each rep. Well, that's the workout finished for me. Keep going if you're still doing those bicycle crunches, but thanks so much for joining me. Make sure you let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout and where in the world you're following along from. I truly do love to hear that. If you wanna check out that combo series day one, I'll link it here on the screen. If you just wanna do a little stretch, stretch out, cool down right now, I'll link it here. Thanks so much and I'll see you again soon for another workout.